In this video, I'll guide you through the top 18 new features, tools and updates in Filmora 14. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your skills, these enhancements will help you create even better videos. Let's get started. The first feature I want to highlight is the AI Video Enhancer tool. Simply drag and drop your low-quality video into the timeline. Next, double-click the video to access the video panel. Click on the AI Tools section, then scroll down to find the AI Video Enhancer tool. Turn on the toggle, hit the Generate button, and the AI will start enhancing your video. In just a few moments your low-quality video will look significantly better. Moving on to number 2, let's talk about the Video Denoise tool. If you have a video that's a bit noisy, you can clean it up using this tool, toggle on the Video Denoise tool, and choose one of the smoothness options, weak, normal, or strong. The AI will automatically start the denoising process. Once it's done, you can preview the results and adjust the smoothness to fit your video. I usually find the normal option works best. The third feature I'm excited about is the AI Portrait Cutout tool. You'll find this in the same AI Tools section. This tool allows you to remove backgrounds from videos and apply various effects. First, select the model. There are two modes for background removal, Advanced Cutout Mode and Quick Cutout Mode. I recommend using the Advanced Cutout Mode for the best results. Once selected the AI will begin removing the background, which may take some time depending on your video's length and quality. After that you can apply different effects, there are plenty to choose from. For instance, I picked the flashing effect and adjusted settings like radius duration and color. After all that, your video will look awesome. Next up, at number 4, we have the face mosaic effects in Filmora 14. To use this, you'll need a video with faces on the timeline. Click on the effects tab, then head to body effects and find the face mosaic option. Pick an effect, drag and drop the effect onto your video in the timeline. To set it up, double-click your video, go to the effects panel, and watch as it detects faces in your video. Once it's done, you can select which faces to blur. You can adjust the blur strength and feathering to get just the right look. At number 5, let's check out the planar tracking tool. This handy tool tracks and replaces specific areas in your video. To use it, double-click your video in the timeline and open the AI Tools section. Scroll down and enable the Planar Tracking tool. Choose between Auto or Advanced options. If you go for Advanced, select your accuracy level, default usually works best. Click on Analyze or stick with Auto, reset the settings, or stick with Auto, and you'll see a tracking box in the preview window. Adjust this box to fit the area you want to track. Click the Start button, and the tool will track the selected area. You can then replace it with any element, video, image or even a mosaic effect. Customize the mosaic as needed or simply remove it if you prefer. Number 6 brings us to the multi-camera clip feature. This feature lets you combine footage from multiple cameras seamlessly into one timeline. First you'll need multiple clips in your media. Right-click on those clips and select Create Multi-Camera Clip. Set a name for your clip and choose a synchronization method. Audio usually works well. After that you can switch to multi-camera view and edit any clip easily with features like splitting and adding effects. This makes switching between camera angles a breeze, giving your video a polished feel. At number 7. Let's talk about the AI Color Palette tool. Start by adding a video to your timeline and double-clicking it to open the tool. Click on the color panel, then scroll down. Turn on the AI Color Palette tool. And you'll see an existing palette. But you can add a new one. 
click the Add button to open a reference screen and a preview screen. You can either select a frame from your timeline or import a color palette. To import, click on Local File and drag in your color image. After importing, hit the Generate button to see the changes on the preview screen. To save the color palette for future use just click Save and Apply. You can also adjust the strength of the palette and protect skin tones to ensure they look great. Now, number 8 is about the new AI translation tool in Filmora 14. This tool makes it easy to create multilingual content, ensuring a smooth viewing experience. 大家好，Filmora十四的AI翻译工具可轻松将视频和音频翻译成二十多种语言，确保翻译的音频与说话者的唇部动作无缝同步，带来自然而身临其境的观看体验，让全球观众都能欣赏您的内容。With just a few clicks, you can translate your video's audio and subtitles into multiple languages. To use this, add your video to the timeline, go to the Titles tab, and select AI Captions. Click the Translate button and set your preferences, like the source and target languages. The AI translation tool also features Auto Lip Sync, which synchronizes the speaker's lips with the translated audio for a natural feel. Then hit Translate. Hello everyone! Fatmol 14's AI translation tool can easily translate video and audio into more than 20 languages, ensuring that the translated audio is seamlessly synchronized with the pure movements of the speaker, bringing a natural and immersive viewing experience, so that your content can be enjoyed by global audiences. At number 9, let's look at the Smart BGM Generation tool. This feature analyzes your content to generate the perfect background music. To try it, drag your footage to the timeline, watch it closely, and think about what kind of music fits. Go to the Tools menu, and choose the Smart BGM Generation tool. Click Start, and the tool will analyze your video. After a moment, it will generate music that fits perfectly. Let's preview what it comes up with. For number 10 I want to share the Smart Short Clip tool. Click the Smart Short Clip tool on Filmora Start window. Upload your files either from your computer or via a YouTube link. I'll upload a video from my computer. Hey, tired of struggling to edit long videos? Filmora's AI Smart Short Clips is your solution. Automatically cut, trim, and highlight your best moments, creating shareable content in no time. After that, select the video language, Auto set the duration and pick a theme type such as video podcast or gaming. I'll go with video podcast for this example. Choose a template and aspect ratio. Then turn on smart BGM generation if you want background music. Enter your main topic keywords, hit the generate button and let the tool work its magic. Once it's done, you'll see a preview of your new video. Hey. Tired of struggling to edit long videos? If you want to enhance the speech, toggle on the AI Speech Enhancement option. You can also edit further or export directly. Now at number 11, let's discuss the Enable and Disable Magnet Timeline buttons. These buttons found in the Timeline panel control how clips snap together. When the Enable Magnet Timeline button is active, clips will align automatically when dragged. The Disable Magnet Timeline button allows for free placement of clips anywhere on the timeline. At number 12 we have the Smart Scene Cut tool, which automatically detects scene changes in your footage. By analyzing audio and visual elements, it identifies where new scenes begin, saving you time and effort in editing. Moving on to feature number 13, the Path Curve feature lets you create custom motion paths for your clips. This gives you greater control over how your clips move on screen, whether it's a simple linear path or a complex curve. 
You can enable or disable this feature in the transform tool within the video and image panel. Now number 14 is about the AI sound effect generator tool. This feature allows you to create custom sound effects for your videos. Head to the audio tab and click on the AI sound effect generator. Enter prompts to find the sounds you need and customize the duration and quantity. Once you're happy with your settings, click generate to create your sound effect. Let's listen to the effects produced by this tool. At number 15, we have AI Smart Search. This feature improves editing efficiency by detecting human faces in your clips. You can even search for other visual elements like text, trees, and sunsets. It's impressively accurate. And at number 16, let's explore the auto reframe feature, which adjusts your video cropping to keep the subject centered. Activate this feature in the Filmora export window by enabling the auto reframe button. This ensures your video matches the aspect ratio of your chosen social media platform, making it perfect for sharing online. For number 17, I'm excited to talk about SVG file support in Filmora 14. This new feature allows you to easily incorporate intricate vector graphics into your videos. Just drag and drop your SVG file onto the timeline, and it integrates seamlessly. Lastly, at number 18, let's check out the new Filmora Copilot tool. Click the Copilot button above the timeline to access features like audio and picture adjustments. For example, if I want to adjust video speed, I can specify a speed of 0.6 times for selected clips. Within seconds Copilot executes my prompt, applying the changes effortlessly. 